biggest uh, threat to a cashless society has traditionally been the Czechs. You have them in the US, you have them in the UK, you have them in Singapore, you have them in France. And the problem there has really been government policy. If checks are for free, they will continue to be used. If cash uh, checks are charged and you, know, you need to pay something to use a very expensive uh, you know, monetary system to, to pay, you make your payments, then people will use it less. And that's what Sweden actually did already 30 years ago. So it cost the equivalent of $5 to use a check. And that's why it's gone into cashless society very quickly. So I think government policy actually makes a difference uh, in terms of if you want to go into cashless society. And the next level of a cashless society for me is the blockchain society. So, so government can make a difference. Does it concern you, not to sound a little conspiratorial, yeah. that, you know, you, like you say, everything can be tracked? Yeah. Well, do I want every financial transaction I make actually being tracked? Well, you know, then you have, you know, we don't, we, yeah, you said we shouldn't go into blockchain, but, you know, certainly if it can also keep privacy there, which, you know, we can discuss and later with, on. And with the blockchain, you can keep the privacy, correct? With some solutions you can, right? Okay. So that's really where it comes. As long as you can keep the privacy there, yes, I think, you know, we should keep track of our, our cash movements. But the question is the privacy. I and mean, how, how on a permission base can we actually you know, at the same time, keep privacy and also keep track of the cash movements. And for that, we need to have trust. And that's where the distributed ledger comes in. And to that trust is who is running it. So it's, it's all kind of linked to, to each other. In a, high society, in a high trust society like Sweden, we trust what our government does and we give data. But we are also know that they can't misuse the data from privacy policies. So it all depends also on government policy, on state policy, on municipality policy. Who do you want to share your data with? And how does the blockchain end up playing into the idea of a cashless society? Well, I mean, it's all these permission-based, you know, distributed ledgers. Uh, how do you use them? You know, as you know, there are many different blockchains. Some are there really to protect privacy as much as possible like Monero, like Zcash, they are maybe at that forefront. And you have others that maybe don't preserve uh, privacy at all. So you have a big spectrum uh, between different solutions of distributed ledger technology. As you know, the f probably the flip side, if it's completely anonymous, is that then, and you don't can't track who has done what, but you can just track the overall numbers, is that something gets traded that shouldn't be traded, for instance, illegal goods and so on. So there's a balance between you know, how much can be tracked and, and when, and actually keeping the privacy, um, and actually at the same time having the, the benefits of um, tracking the cash, cash movements. That's it for this time. You can get cash. So I'm going to agree that I am looking to invest in some privacy coins. I do believe Monero and Zcash. Um, if the U.S. government goes to cashless, I am very confident that there will be many avenues and even maybe new cryptos that will allow people to still conduct business in a private manner. And so we'll see what happens with the future, but I highly recommend to anyone who is investing in cryptocurrency, learn and understand the privacy coins and consider owning a little bit in your portfolio. Um, but basically after watching this video, if the U.S. continues to go down that route of being uh, like the Scandinavian countries and going cashless, uh, I will be looking into investing even more heavy into privacy coins. But let me know your thoughts on this and what you guys think, and I will talk to you guys soon.